What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video. So today we're going to talk about how I back up 80,000 photos a year. Having a set standard on how you back up your photos for your client is very important as these are your client photos and you do not want to lose them. Personally, for my business, I found a pretty fail safe way in backing up all these photos. So before we jump into this video, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you guys are notified when I bring out new videos and now let's begin. So to start off, immediately after I shoot a wedding, I go home and grab my cards and upload it to my first hard drive. Now keep in mind, the raw photos on these cards of the wedding I just shot will not get formatted until the final images are delivered to my clients. So having a camera that has dual card slots is very important as that can write to both cards at the same time with the raw photos. And like mentioned before, you can keep these cards nice and safe stored away until the final images are delivered. So if something does happen with the hard drive during this transaction of delivering the final photos, you'll always have the raw images on these cards. The hard drives I'm using to back up my photos are the 6 terabyte G drives. Currently I have two of those. One is the main one which I work off of. The second one is a backup. And then I also do have a Western Digital Element 10 terabyte that I sometimes put my work on there. So from the start, we take the memory cards with the raw images of the wedding. We put it on the first hard drive. So from there, once they are on my main hard drive, I will take the folder and put it onto my backup hard drive. So currently, these raw files are in three different locations. First, the memory cards. Second, my main hard drive. Third, my backup hard drive to my main drive. I now take an external memory like this hard drive. This is a four terabyte Lacey hard drive and place it on here. So these external hard drives are super inexpensive. So I have a ton of these for every year that I shoot weddings. So now we have the raw photos on four different locations. The memory cards, which are stored away nice and safe. My main hard drive, my backup to my main hard drive and an external drive. So if you're still worried about losing your client's photos, there's still one last piece and that is online cloud storage. I personally use Backblaze. Backblaze is this incredible cloud storage that runs in the background while you're using your computer to back up all of your files. You can select what kind of hard drives you want to back up, how big of a file you want to back up. It's just an incredible service. And the best part is, is that it's only $6 a month. And actually, if you guys want to try it out, I do have a link below that will give you a month free. So depending how many files you have and how fast your Wi-Fi is will determine how much stuff can be uploaded a day. Personally, I am able to upload almost a thousand photos a day on this software. And the best part is you can log into your account and find all your files that you have in your hard drives and anything else that you wanted to back up. It is also unlimited storage, so you do not have to worry about that. So having a cloud storage is pretty much a no brainer and it just makes a lot of sense having it. So let's run through my process one more time. So again, you come home from a wedding, you have your SD cards and you put that on your main hard drive. Then these SD cards are stored away with the raw photos until you deliver your final images to your client. Once they are on the main hard drive, you place them in your backup of your main hard drive. Once you have that, you grab your external hard drive and you place it on there. And while you are doing that, you have Backblaze running in the background, already uploading your photos to the cloud storage. So you have five different locations that these raw photos are on. I'd say that is a pretty safe way to keep photos for your clients. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, comment below with any questions, and I'll see you guys in my next video.